Hey guys, welcome to the four shards tutorial. Now I created this move, but it is heavily inspired by Spin Doctor, by Nikolai, and Windmill by Lars, and Nam Namalus by Burger. Just a few different moves, but in the end, I still think this is pretty original. Now it might not be the first, but I definitely have not seen anybody else do this flourish. So there are different ways to do four shards. Also, I'm sure most of you guys may know this as pinwheel because I was going to originally call it pinwheel. But I decided to change the name because there were already a few flourishes called pinwheel. So just went with four shards. Credit to Mahu Raj, I just screwed up that name. But yeah, there are a few ways to do it. You can do it with a full deck or just four cards because it is a four card display. And you can also have it as like a, an ace production because there's four aces. But yeah, let's get started with that tutorial. Okay, so two things are kind of required, I guess, to be able to do four shards. You do need to have moist fingers because you're gonna be peeling off some cards. And currently my fingers are not very moist, so if I screw up during this tutorial, that's why. But you also need some decently sized hands because when you grip onto the um, third, second to last card right here, if your fingers can't reach, then you're not gonna be able to do the flourish very well. So just something to note. And this um, grip is kind of uncomfortable, so I don't like to stay here for too long. But anyway, to do four shards, you of course need at least four cards. You don't even have to have the entire deck. You can just have your packet of four cards and do the flourish from here. But for the tutorial, I'm just gonna use the full deck. So you're gonna grip and biddle grip with your thumb on this short edge. And I like to use my ring finger to contact the corner with the pip and my middle finger next to it and my index curled on top. You can also though use your middle finger on the corner or even your pinky on the corner. But I like to use my ring finger, so that's what I'm gonna use. So it's contacting the corner and then you're gonna take your non-dominant thumb and contact the opposite corner of the pip. And you're gonna peel off at least four cards. You can do this by riffling or just breaking off a small packet. So you got your packet of about four cards, and then you're gonna take your middle finger or your index finger, but I like to use my middle, and contact the bottom closer to your ring finger. So not your thumb up here, you're gonna contact the bottom, and you're gonna move that packet and rotate it to where it's face down like so. And then once you get into this position, you're gonna take your middle finger and contact by your thumb to where you're pinching this packet by your thumb and middle finger. And your middle finger needs to line up with this white border here, the line. Cause if it's not, it's gonna be angled and the display is gonna get messed up. So it needs to be lined up with the border. And then your middle finger is going to peel off that top card while your um, ring finger moves up. So middle finger basically kind of moves down, I guess, while your middle finger moves up. Contact, line it up and peel and move ring finger up. And then you're gonna keep rotating until you get to where you contact um, in this little fleshy part between your index finger and thumb. And these two cards, or the packet and this card, need to kind of line up, or it's gonna be angled as well. 
So this little angle in this corner needs to be about 90 degrees. And then you're gonna contact the face of this card as well with your index finger. And then you're gonna break off the remaining two cards or however many left in this packet. And you're gonna rotate that away from your index finger card. Then you're gonna rotate it back down to where it is horizontal and can contact your pinky finger on this short edge and your ring finger on the long short edge. And now it's kind of hard to break off this last card if you got four cards. So I just like to use the pad of my ring finger to just peel off that card. Now my fingers are kind of dry, so um, it may help before you start the move to fog it by like breathing on it. And then you can peel off this remaining card and bring it back up to make the display. Now to place all these cards to where it's not angled like this or anything, takes just some practice and experimentation and make sure to also look in the mirror as well. And here's kind of what it looks like from the back. Hopefully you can see that, okay. So to close it, what I like to do is from Biddle Grip with the main deck, contact the face or the back of the face with your index and push a little bit so your thumb can slide down that short edge in the front. So now you're gripping the deck like this. These bottom three fingers are at the bottom. And then you straighten out your index finger and kind of cross your arms basically to where your index finger is on your non-dominant side. Then you're gonna contact on the long edge and just close it up. Straighten out your pinky so it clears that short edge and you can square that deck up into a straddle. And then you're just gonna drop this deck by moving your hand out of the way like so. Quick overview, contact on the corner with your ring finger or middle finger or pinky finger. Contact on the opposite corner with your thumb to have at least four cards. Take your middle finger to rotate and then contact on that, um, on that border. Peel off and move up. Peel down, um, peel back up. Regrip main deck, contact on your non dominant side, and just rotate and drop. Basically, this flourish is just a bunch of peeling and rotating of the cards.
Okay, so to do the ace production version, you need to have the ace of diamonds on the very top, the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs, and the ace of spades. From here, it's facing up. The ace of clubs does not need to face the same direction as the ace of spades, so you're gonna turn it upside down. And then the ace of hearts and ace of diamonds don't really matter. Turn the deck around to where the back is facing because you want to have the faces of the cards facing um, you. And you need to have the ace of spades facing down. So it's looking like this right now. Ace of spades, face down, ace of clubs, ace of hearts, ace of diamonds. You're gonna take all those cards and just rotate them down. Put that onto the deck. And now you can do four shards and you need to make sure you actually have four cards. So you rotate, and now the Ace of Spades is facing up. The Ace of Clubs is now facing up. The Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Diamonds don't really matter because they're horizontal. And that's how you set up for the Ace version. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this flourish. Be sure to let me know what you think. Also, it is windy as heck out here. That's why I had to make the tutorial inside. But hopefully you enjoyed this flourish. Thought it was a good place to film it. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.